Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make a fun conveyor belt. I want you to go to MT Tools, or if you're out in the real world, you can launch blank however you do it. When you get blank on your screen, I want you to zoom out to the end of the one. So when it switches to 10, then go back. So you're just on the end of the one. That's just a nice size to play with. I'm going to right click and drag the earth or the ground down to the bottom. And we are going to use the awesome gear tool. Draw a gear up in the sky. Take that gear and select it with the select box. And then turn it into a motor. We want to reverse it, I have found. And I'd like you to set the motor speed to something close to 5. Anywhere in the 5s is great. And then I'm going to make it quite strong. I am going to grab the whole thing again and do clone. So now I've got two of them. I'm going to move the second one to the right and a little bit down. You want a slope. And then so this can look like a conveyor belt. We are going to use the super cool chain. Carefully draw a chain that's close. Bring it around underneath and back. You can make it as tight as you can. And then just make sure that your last one actually connects. You can see the green is there. Uh, switch back to the select tool. Either of them is fine. Right click on your gear. And you can then grab it and move it so that it's tighter. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Right click on the big gear. Push it a little tighter. And then when I hit play, my cool conveyor belt is moving. I am going to move the world a little bit to the right, so this is in the middle. I'm going to switch to the brush tool, and I am going to draw a cool bucket underneath the project. Uh, I need to pause it so that I can do that, so now I've got a bucket to collect everything. I'm going to attach that to the sky. I'm going to come to the other side of the screen, and I'm going to use that same brush, but I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to draw a straight line because of the shift key. And this is just going to be a little ramp that the balls uh, roll down. Notice I'm just sloping it a little bit and making it so that for sure they will land out in this space. I am going to click on the X. And then when I hit play, I can now create balls out here. And when they fall and drop, they will go down the little ramp and eventually go down my conveyor belt. Now this is kind of interesting. See how they don't quite make it over? Watch how we're going to fix this. I'm going to hit pause. That one actually did make it over. I'm going to go to the brush tool and I'm going to turn on multi-draw. And on just a few of these, I'm going to make little nubs using multi-draw so that it helps pull them across. For the bottom of the chain, oops, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to do undo. I want to do a right click move so I can see the bottom of the chain. I'm going to go back to that brush. This time they're going to go underneath, still using multi draw and making little nubs that come out of the chain. So it helps pull them along. Let's hit play and take a peek at it. Switch to my move so I can see the big screen. I'm going to drop these a lot closer so that way they uh, don't bounce and roll so fast. And let's analyze how we're doing. Notice now it gets caught and they totally get pulled over and my conveyor belt is working like a champion. This one is an assignment. So at this point, you need to do a screenshot and turn it into Classroom. Remember to do our screenshots. We use the DuckLink program. Uh, DuckLink is right here, and it's Duck Capture. And then it'll show up with this little screen. Uh, you can also do the little screen from down here on the bottom if you've already got DuckLink in place. We want to do the little rectangle, so I'm going to launch it from the bottom because that's how I expect most of you to do it. And all I need you to do 
is give me a picture of your working chain, your working conveyor belt, and turn it into classroom. When you click the little green disk, it saves to your desktop. Remember, it saves to the desktop, so it's easy to find, and then you can simply go to classroom, find today's lesson. You need to add the file, and you're going to add it from file, and it lets you simply drag and drop and upload your project. It needs to be done today, so get it turned in because that grade's going in the gradebook, and it will be the first grade in our gradebook. So get cracking, and let's see how cool your little conveyor belt can turn out.